Welcome to Fun Over Games. So just the other day, a man in Long Beach is suing the California Lottery for not honoring a $5 million scratcher. What a nightmare. Could you imagine winning, it, winning $5 million and them not giving you the money? Well, the, the story is... He goes into this gas station fairly often to buy tickets. So one day, he had his son cash in some of his winning tickets and then um, buy some more scratch offs and get some cash as well. So it says he sent his son inside with 12 deluxe 7 scratchers that total, total $330 in winnings. So he had $330 of winning tickets. And then his son bought five $20 tickets. So that's $100 of scratchers. And then get $230 cash. And when the man and his son went home later, they played the tickets, the 100x the money, which I've played a bunch of times, the yellow ticket. And he hit $5 million. I mean, you got to imagine how excited he was. Like, off the wall excited, I'm sure. And he's probably equally as, as upset when they denied his claim. Because he went to, um, he went to a, the 7-Eleven to validate the ticket just to confirm it was legit. Then he also went to the lottery office, which is the one in Santa Ana, which is close to Long Beach where he lives, validated the ticket. So it, was, it looked all good. And he submitted the claim and he thought it was fine. Let me see if they... So October 16th. So six weeks later, maybe seven weeks later, on December 5th, the Lottery Commission denied the claim. So this guy is probably on cloud nine, talk, telling everybody, um, dreaming, daydreaming, everything about what he's going to do with the money, all these plans, and all this happiness for six weeks. And then they say, no good, your son is underage, so we, we're not giving you the money. And, I mean, I get it. What, what, I mean, yeah, he, the son is, you're supposed to be 18 to buy tickets. I totally get that. But I'm sure they would have no problem taking their money if they didn't win. Um, of course, no one's going to complain about not winning, so they would only submit a claim. And in the lawsuit, I mean, of course this guy's going to sue. I mean, anybody would sue. It's a lot of money. And, and it mentions an article, the plaintiff, who was the winner of the $5 million, the father... He claims that at no time did the store tell his son he could not purchase scratchers because of his age. He also claims his son was not asked to have an adult present to buy the tickets. Of course not. I, 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 I think I bought tickets at like 12 or 13 years old before. And I don't even think they even asked why I was buying them. And if they did, I would just say, oh, my father wanted me to buy them, and no one would even question it. So in the lawsuit, it claims the Lottery Commission failed in operating it by its own rules and failed to have Benjamin informed that he could not buy a ticket because of his age. I, I guess they failed in that respect, but no one really cares. Um... I mean, maybe some stores do. I could see buying alcohol. That could be a little iffy if you sell it to like a 16, 17-year-old. 
But if you're buying lottery tickets, even if it's a, even if it's a 12, 13 year old, let alone a 15, 16 year old, it's not like a, it's not like something bad's gonna happen with those lottery tickets. I could see alcohol, something bad might happen. But lottery tickets, no one really cares. But anyways, it also states his son was not asked for ID by the store. Of course not. Which means the store failed to verify his son's age before allowing him to get a ticket and that Benjamin was informed. I mean, sure, the store didn't... But people... People could find ways to buy... to, to get things illegally. Um... So it's not that much of a stretch to do something like that. And I don't know if it's a store's responsibility. I mean, it kind of is a store's responsibility, but just like if somebody flashes fake ID to buy alcohol and that kid dies from alcohol poisoning, is the store responsible? Uh, no. And the suit goes on to say, there were no signs at the store that the commission failed to honor Ward's warning ticket and properly train retailers about the lottery rules, especially when it comes to the age of the buyer, not having stores properly enforce those rules. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think the enforcement's going to change that much with this lawsuit. But who knows? Um... The lawsuit states Ward has suffered and will continue to suffer financial losses, including interest and other damages because of the ongoing issue. I'm not sure what the interest is. And I guess the lawyer fees, he's he owes... I think that's just... I don't think that's true because the, the lawyer is probably going to take a percentage of the $5 million, I'm sure. The lawyer probably will say, I'll take your case... For free, you give me 20% of whatever we get. If we get all $5 million, you give me 20% of that, which is a million. Or if we only get half of that, you give me 20%. So I'm sure there's, that's just kind of like he's thrown it in there to sound like more of a victim. It also said Ward suffers emotionally, which totals $50,000 in damages. I don't know how you can quantify emotional distress. Um, that That's kind of like a, a non-issue, I think. Of course, they're going to say that to try to pile on as much as they can. But emotional distress is really a hard thing to prove in a court. But it's a crazy story, right? Um, could you imagine? Finally... Hitting a nice jackpot. I'd be happy with a thousand dollars. Really happy. I mean, five million is just off the wall. But um, Leah, let me know what you think in the comments. Just a crazy, crazy story. Do you think he should get it? I think he should. I think uh, the lottery has no problem taking people's money, even if they're underage. Um, so why not pay them? Um, and, and I don't know, I mean, I mean, there is a reason he shouldn't get it because he's underage. I mean, legally he shouldn't, but probably shouldn't have bought it in the first place then. I don't know. Um, please, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, you don't see stories like this too often. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.